Butterflies, sweaty palms, heart palpitations, love is a powerful emotion. Absolutely, and this is a timely story for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Well, that cocktail of hormones that entices us to fall in love is part biochemistry, part neuroscience. But does true love really exist? Heather Simonson reports on the science of love. I had questions that I wanted answers to. Nate Bagley from South Jordan travels the country asking, does true love really exist and can it last? But there's always a handful of people whose relationships I really looked up to and admired and I wanted to know what they were doing differently than everybody else and I figured the best thing to do would just be to go out and ask them. Hey everybody, welcome to the Loveumentary. Where In his Loveumentary podcast, he features again. couples like the Shenzels from Omaha, Nebraska. Her skin was just like bronze, teeth just why? We met each other and it was like, oh my gosh, good. There's another kindred spirit out there. They fell in love. A New York psychologist studied what happens when we fall in love. He asked complete strangers to share intimate details about their lives for 45 minutes and stare into each other's eyes without talking for four minutes. Many said they felt deeply attracted and two subjects married. That's why it's falling, Yeah. right? The term falling. It is. It feels out of control. We have obsessive thoughts. We may do compulsive things in order to get close to that person. A psychiatrist at the University of Pisa won the Nobel Prize for finding hormone levels of new lovers were the same as those in people with obsessive compulsive disorder. When we fall in love, 12 areas of the brain work together to release chemicals like adrenaline, oxytocin, dopamine, and vasopressin. That's what makes us feel so euphoric. But how do we make love last? <laughs> Amy and Seth Spangler have kept the romance alive for 17 years. For me, the physical attraction was instantaneous for me. <laughs> Through those ups and downs of recognizing when we're far away and when we need to come back together, that's times where we've been able to say, yeah, it's time to refocus. Falling in love is very easy. Um, but that wears off. It wears off and wear off in a few months. The important part is that we're continuing to keep the flame alive. That's what researchers at Florida State University hope to study with the help of prairie voles. They gave the males who mate for life drugs to suppress vasopressin, the bonding hormone that's released after sex. Their bond with their beloved deteriorated. The take home? Getting that vasopressin going, getting the oxytocin going, making sure that we're a lot of physical touch and that we're having a lot of intimate conversations and that we're keeping that connection alive. The Spanglers do weekly date nights, often at their favorite restaurant, Tsunami, and trips at the beginning of each year. For me, I feel happier when I'm focusing on his happiness and on making him feel, helping him feel loved. Putting each other first is key, counselors say, and instead of always looking for the one, be the one. Early on, Terry Schenzel made that powerful promise. At the end of Ty's life, I want him to be able to say that Terry was the greatest earthly blessing in my life, like the best thing that ever happened to me, and that I'm a better man because of how she loved me. Sadly, the Schenzels met a tragic fate last year. I got a phone call from my friend Melissa, and she was in tears, and she said, Ty and Terry are dead. And I was like, what? And she said they got in a car wreck. Somebody got on the freeway going the wrong direction and hit them head on, and they're dead. They're gone. Their podcast is now the most popular loveumentary ever. Now their legacy is going to live on forever. Bagley says the Shenzels prove true love does exist and lasts. Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News. Bagley says every couple he spoke with endured a major problem together like bankruptcy, depression, death of a loved one, even infidelity. What seemed to make the difference was commitment, communication, forgiveness, and always looking for the good in your partner. Dan's back. To